Kurds are the largest ethnic group in the world without their own nation, numbering around 30 million. They have been subject to foreign rule since the 7th century common era, being ruled over by the Abbasid Caliphate, followed by the Safavid dynasty of Persia, the Mongols, the Ottoman Empire, and finally the Republic of Iraq. After the First World War and the disintegration of the Ottoman Empire, the Kurds pushed for their own sovereign nation of Kurdistan, but ultimately a treaty was signed that divided the Kurds into Turkey, Syria, Iraq, and Iran. The Kurds did not assimilate and continued to push for autonomy, and experienced persecution as a result. Kurds throughout the Middle East formed their own governments with varying degrees of militarism. Although some of them are now recognized as legitimate political parties, some, like the PKK in Turkey, are considered terrorist organizations. A coup d'etat occurred in Iraq in 1968, and the Ba'ath Party came into power. They advocated for pan-Arab nationalism, and persecution against non-Arab cultures in the region increased as a result. This escalated into a larger rebellion in 1983 by Iraqi Kurds, which won the attention of Saddam Hussein. He decided that the Kurds must be dealt with, and ordered a military campaign against them. In reality, this campaign entailed systematic ethnic cleansing and genocide of all men deemed to be of fighting age. The genocide was carried out by Saddam's cousin, Ali Hassan al-Majid, nicknamed Chemical Ali for his use of chemical weapons during the campaign, which lasted from 1986 to 1989. Members of the Kurdish in Malaysia were immediately rounded up and executed. They proceeded to drop bombs on Kurdish villages along with chemical weapons. Thousands of people were displaced, escaping to refugee camps. Even more were killed as a result of chemicals. Those who remained were rounded up and put in concentration camps. Once captured, any men deemed of fighting age were killed. Only small children, women, and the elderly were spared. زرعات ما نكر دغر ما نكر كاسفي ما نكر فمو ما نكر بيبر ما نكر زرعات ما نكر اي شو انا والله او ها بقربام انا والله كاسفي خوش ما نبو انا والله اما ذا ما ذا في خوش همود اقول اقول قولي شو راون داكتان روحي ديت شي خوزي من اجل قولي انا خلاص بما وليمتي من عن بو خوا ما دام وين كنت من لم حق خوجنا او بيت عن بريم حتى كسي شبي بريم من لم علي خوف خوتوب حتى خوم لي كي بقران ما فرسك شلون خوم لي كي كخوم لي كو دوغ مردوا انا والله استاش حتى دم رمتما استاش انا لا شيء وادينا حدينا كن Even 
even after the Alan fell genocide, the Kurds are still getting killed. They have started a rebellion against Turkey, but are no closer to being a sovereign nation. In 2010, Chemical Ali was hanged for four counts of war crimes, such as genocide, intentionally killing civilians, and assassination. The Kurdish community has been badly damaged by the Ba'ath Party in Iraq, but they still number in the tens of thousands. So, a sovereign nation is possible. As marginalized as the Kurds are, to this day they are continuing the fight for autonomy. At one point, they are the leading contributor in the fight against ISIS.